The new restrictions announced by the government yesterday to tackle the recent rise in COVID-19 cases followed a lengthy cabinet meeting. A letter setting out a range of recommendations from the National Public Health Emergency Team was considered in deciding on the measures. However, there was some divergence from NEFED's advice, such as the decision to extend opening hours of restaurants and bars serving food until 11.30 and also the exemptions to the indoor limits on gatherings. We do want our children back in school and in college. That, uh, and so there are contradictions there. So you're saying on the one hand, you know, we can't have these indoor parties or big congregations. Uh, but at the same time, our children are going to school with a class of 20, 30, whatever. But that's because I suppose the government is of the view that it is essential that we try and return to school. Amid criticism over the restrictions, one senior member of NEFET has said the country is at a critical junction. Unless we move quickly now together to prevent further transmission between households and from households into the community. And that's the core message behind these interventions, to limit our social contacts and to limit those social contacts to small groups. Unless we move now collectively and firmly to prevent further transmission of the virus, we will see case numbers rising to a level that are unsustainable. And following the decision to ban all spectators from sporting events until at least September 13th, the GAA has invited the Acting Chief Medical Officer Dr Ronan Glynn and Neffet to present what it describes as the empirical evidence which informed the requirement for the decision. For Gal O'Brien, RTE News. Well, let's talk to our political reporter, Mary Regan, who's at Leinster House, and our health correspondent, Fergal Bowers, who's at the Department of Health. Mary, first of all to you, we heard Eamon Ryan there saying there are some contradictions in this latest advice. What's been the political fallout so far to this? Yeah, it was always going to be the case, I think, that the complex task of reopening would be far more politically difficult than the initial lockdown and that's uh, proving to be something of an understatement because there are divisions today between the opposition and government and also some of those internal uh, frictions within the government being openly discussed today. The Labour Party leader Alan Kelly a short time ago now has called for the doll to be uh, recalled. He said that TD's phones across the country are hopping and they're inundated with queries from the public on a whole range of issues from summer camps to whether the over 70s can go on a holiday in Ireland. He also said that it was clear that there is disunity in the government. He said there are tensions between Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael as he can see it and he said all these issues need to be thrashed out on the floor of the doll. Uh, one issue that's uh, a cause of concern really now at this stage is proposed legislation that would give Gardaí more powers to carry out searches or to police gatherings in people's homes. Uh, The Attorney General will examine that but the Labour Party leader Alan Kelly said he'd be very suspicious of any such laws and Sinn Féin said they'd have to examine them very carefully. All right, separately, Fergal, this afternoon sees the publication of the COVID-19 Nursing Home Expert Panel Report. What can we expect to see in that? Yes, well, we know there have been over 900 deaths in nursing homes and 271 outbreaks. So there will be a lot of interest in this report being published here this afternoon by the Minister for Health, Stephen Donnelly. Um, That that panel was set up in June following a recommendation by the National Public Health Emergency Team to provide assurance on safeguards for residents, any lessons from Ireland's response to the virus in homes up to now, and recommendations for the next 12 to 18 months. And I understand the report will say there needs to be infrastructural changes in homes to accommodate visits from families and friends, that the Health Information and Quality Authority is going to be asked to do an audit of staffing levels in homes, uh, have that done within six months, that there needs to be a clear backup plan if nursing homes don't have enough staff, and that there should be a permanent community support teams in place around the country, uh, and, and there will be interim and long-term recommendations in this report. All right, Fergal Bowers and Mary Regan, thank you both.